put a little in there, drop the match in. At this point, I'd already done it so many times, people stopped recording. Nobody really cared to record it anymore. Everybody's just like, oh, yeah, we'll watch this. Oh, that's going to be fun. And then, uh, but the bottle blew up. Hello. Like, it didn't just go, like you're going to see in a second, hopefully. If everything goes as planned. <laughs> I don't even I know. Probably do. You might want to back up. I'm fine. I'm good right here. I'm good. It blew up across the room. So hey look, if I die, I die. Just as long as I know Jesus is with me, that's all. I, that's all that matters. Uh, God will bless my soul. Hey, I just live forever. Trevor, will you come on. Satan's at my side. I, I do Satan's bidding. Seriously, you gotta back up farther. Otherwise, you gotta wear some goggles. I'll wear goggles. Uh, yeah, let's go get goggles so we can be up there. Yeah, so this does blow up and you start on fire. I'm running. As soon as I see the explosion, I'm already out. Throw me a pet, bro. Alright, so what's on the bottom of this? Get into that. Uh, the bottom of this right now in chemistry, we're learning about how electrons change energy levels. And when electrons come back down, they emit specific photons. Sorry, being glass. I want to move up. So they, they emit uh, specific photons. So what we might see in here, if there's enough of that left in here, is a nice green flame. Uh, and that happens because electrons are jumping up energy levels when they absorb energy, and then when they come back down and release the energy, they will emit this green flame. Uh, green photons come out. Hold on, let me get a hot dog and a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, so flammability is the ability to burn or the ability to ignite change materials in the presence of oxygen. Right now, this bottle's just been sitting in the back room. It's been able to get as much oxygen in as the air around us does. About 21% of this bottle right now would be filled with oxygen. So I'm going to put this flammable material in here, which means that it will react with that oxygen. And notice that right now, that's kind of a lot. Uh, <laughs> right now, okay, it's green because the uh, what's in there is actually uh, copper chloride. So it's got this green color. It's not like swamp gas or something. Oh, like uh, I know what it is. We had to use that to kill a seaweed. What I'm doing is uh, it's going to be more reactive if it's a vapor. Because vapor molecules are moving around a lot faster than liquid molecules. So if I shake this up. Some of it evaporates, and as it evaporates, we have faster moving mo molecules. We need faster moving molecules for the reaction to happen. So we've got some faster moving molecules in here. <laughs> but it's not reacting on its own. What it needs is a little activation energy, and that's why the match is in here. One of the biggest misconceptions that kids have is that the match actually is the big reaction, that the match is actually causing it. The materials inside are already able to do it, they just need a little bit of added energy. So that energy is activation energy. What happens is kind of like, think about a uh, roof filled with mousetraps. If I had a roof filled with mousetraps and I threw a ping pong ball out with the mousetraps and it bounced around, once one of those gets set off, that's what this is, it's a ping pong ball. Once one of those mousetraps gets set off, once one of the chemical reactions happens, it's like a big chain reaction. And you get all these reactions that are going to continue to happen. If you have a video camera that has slow mo, you can actually see the mousetraps, the chemical reactions being set off as you go. Do you want to hit that light? Yeah, I feel like. Thanks. Wait a minute, I don't even got myself involved. Alright, so we're going to do this. Light. No, turn the flash off. Yeah, turn the flash off, dude. Hurry, yeah. we got fire. Alright, it's off. It's like a metallic, it's off. It's not, it's not off, it's not turning off. Alright, here we go. Oh, <laughs> shit. Alright. Oh, God. So now, a lot of people are like, let's do it again. So we'll try it again, right after. <laughs> okay, so right now see how this flame is at the top? That's because the rest of this bottle, we have no oxygen left. We just pushed all the oxygen out, so it's gonna smell like a hair salon in here. <laughs> Yay! But if I just keep trying to do this over and over, just the top, Ignites, and you can even see like a rebounding. So we watched a video. Um, it was the last week we watched a guy shooting an air yeah. cannon, and he had that rebound happen because it's pulling in oxygen. So you push out material, and then the air gets. Can you do it one time so I get closer? What? Can you do it one more time? I don't know how much oxygen's in there, but we'll try. 
Well, it's probably a nice thing right now. Well, we don't have any reaction to Chicago. Let's try to get it so it's out of oxygen. Let's see how many. Pretty hot. There you go. So now it's out of oxygen. So inside this bottle right now, we have no oxygen. The bottle's really warm. A little bit. Does anybody have a? Uh, I got a slow mo. Anybody got an iPhone? I got a slow mo. Yeah. Newer iPhone. One of these.